YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be all about coach and the coach bags that I would secretly sleep with if I could. And I suppose I could sleep with these bags, but gosh, if I damaged any of them, it would just kill me. So I probably won't actually sleep with these bags, but they are soft enough to sleep with. So if you haven't guessed already, today I'm going to show you all of my coach pillow handbags, which include two different styles. And the styles that I am talking about are the Coach Pillow Tabby and the Coach Pillow Madison. So I have two special colors here. I don't know that you can find either one of these colors easily, but we'll start with this one first. That's kind of redundant. We'll start with this one first. Anyway, that's what we'll do. So this is the Coach Pillow Tabby in the color Deep Berry. Originally, I didn't even plan on getting this color. I planned on just getting the Deep Pine Green out of the new fall color lineup. But then whenever I received the Deep Pine in the mail, I also received this one because I had taken advantage of a promotion that I shared with you through the website 24s.com where I got $150 off each bag. And my friend Julie from Agent Bag Reviews and I had went in on it together and she had got this one and I had got the Deep Pine. But when they arrived, I saw this and I fell in love and I called her up and I said, you wouldn't believe it, but I love this color so much. And she said, you wouldn't believe it, but I actually would rather have another bag in that color. So that's what happened. I ended up keeping both of them. So this is the first bag by Coach that I would secretly sleep with. The fantastic, gorgeous Pillow Tabby in the Deep Berry color. And the one I got is just, oh, so nice. I mean, I just want to Lay my head down and take a wee little nap. Oh wait, you're still there. Okay, hang on. We'll do, we'll look at another bag. So I've heard other people say this before, but the Coach Pillow Madison, it feels amazing too, but it does feel slightly hardier to me than the Pillow Tabby. Almost like there's a little bit of an extra coating or gloss on the top of it. Still feels fantastic. I think that the, the quilting it might actually leave little imprints in my face should I use this for a pillow. So I don't plan on doing that, but in a pinch, if I was traveling or something and I needed an airplane bag pillow, I could just put this between me and the side of the airplane and I would be good to go. Just kidding. I wouldn't use this as a pillow either. And I certainly would not use it as an airplane pillow as this would not be my choice for a travel bag. But this bag is fantastic and really gives the Chanel 19 a run for its money. Priced at $495, this bag is a steal compared to its luxury counterparts. And I have compared this bag in a video to the YSL or St. Laurent Small Lulu, and they they really stack up quite nicely against each other. I'll link that video down in the description box if you haven't seen it yet. This bag, I would say, is a little softer than the Small Lulu, but not quite as durable. But that's okay, because it's a small sacrifice to pay for this luxe, amazing feel that this Army Green Coach Pillow Madison brings to the table. So that is bag number two of the coach bags that I might secretly sleep with. Bag number three I've had in my collection for a while, and it's the gorgeous Pillow Tabby in the ivory color. I love having this color because I have so many straps that are this color of leather with gold hardware. And I just find it to be very elegant and classic in the beautiful ivory shade. So that would be bag number three in my coach pillow. I'm, I'm just getting so tired. No, I gotta wake up. I still have like seven bags left to show you. That's not right. I don't have seven bags left to show you. I actually just have five bags left to show you. And I lied to you just a tiny bit earlier. There's one additional style besides the Coach Pillow Tabby and the Coach Pillow Madison. So I hope you don't hold that against me. I'm going to show you that style now, since we're right in the middle of my other pillow collection. That would be the Filto 22 in the badge 
style. So the badge is right here. It's where it says coach. This is an ivory color block and it's another reason why I have so many straps with the ivory leather. I love mixing and matching my straps as you know if you are one of my seasoned subscribers. If you are new here, welcome and I will link some straps videos down below so you can go see how crazy I truly am. But this little tote packs a punch. She's so soft and squishy. I would say the leather is definitely hardier than either the Pillow Madison or the Pillow Tabby, but it is just almost as soft. And this bag came in, I believe, three colorways. This one, all black, and then one that was like a blue-red color block combo. Next is the newest addition to my pillow family, and that would be the Light Chambray Pillow Madison. I have carried all three of my Pillow Madison bags while I've only carried one of my Pillow Tabbies. You may ask why. I think it's because I feel like I need to baby the Pillow Tabbies a little bit more than this bag, and this bag requires a little bit less Tetris work to make my things fit without affecting the exterior appearance of the bag. So there we go. I've got one more of these gorgeous pillow Madisons to show you as well as two more pillow tabbies. So stick with me till the very end. So this is the deep pine pillow tabby. I had ordered the green pillow tabby from a couple seasons ago and when I got it, it was just too bright for me. This color, however, is my green perfection. It is so gorgeous. And once again, I got this from 24S. And just like the Deep Berry, the flap is chef's kiss perfect. And I am in absolute love with not only the bag, but the color of the bag. So that is almost the last ah, of my Pillow Tabby collection. The last of my Pillow Madison collection can still be found on sale, and that is this beautiful Pillow Madison in the coral shade. This bag is so pretty, and out of the three, it has the widest base. These do vary in base, and they're slightly top-heavy, so I find that when they are empty, they tend to tip over easier, and also, whenever you set them on a table, you want to try to drape the chain across the back of the bag to keep them from tipping forward and possibly scuffing this beautiful hardware. You can still get this color as well as the chambray color, and you can get them both on sale, I believe. I will link as many as I can in the box. Whatever I find will be down in my box for you. So that is the last of my Pillow Madison family. The last of the bags that I would secretly sleep with by coach is my black pillow tabby. This bag required a whole lot of work and effort to get in my collection. I had to order three of these to find one that I found acceptable across the flap. This bag is gorgeous. I still have not carried her, like I said. The only pillow tabbies I've carried are my ivory, and I once had taffy, and I did carry that one once or twice. But I don't care. I love them anyway. They may just become a pillow someday. For now, though, they're going to sit prettily on my shelf and show off all their luster and all of their beauty. This bag is stunning and goes with many straps in my collection, many chains in my collection, and is the perfect day bag or night out bag, in my opinion. So what do you think? Do you have any handbags in your collection that you might secretly sleep with? If you do, consider yourself tagged. I think this would be a great tag video. I would like to see anybody's and everybody's pillowy handbags. And it doesn't have to be limited to Coach. I limited it to Coach because I have eight bags that I could secretly sleep with in my Coach collection. But I also have several St. Laurent bags that are definitely pillow worthy. And so that could be a future part two if anybody would be interested in seeing that. 
However, for now, I'm going to sign off. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring my notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the Handbag Housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me on Instagram or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I hope to see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.